call. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 6 and a bit. Again, I'm, 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 uh, 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 hold on. It's my computer. So this is the third circle. Okay. And this third circle, this is your X, Z plane and is at the out of plane. Okay. So from here, right, we realize that tau max will be equal to 94.868 megapascal and this is your in plane. Okay. Right. So the most important thing to learn for this case is if your element is not orientated at its principal plane, how to labor? Okay, how to labor is this is your XY plane. Okay. And then this is your YZ plane circle and this is your XZ plane circle. Okay. Any questions so far? Is it clear? Yeah. yeah, sorry, you lost me when uh, you're talking about the in plane and out of plane for the cube. Um, okay, so how, for how did you know which one was so, out of plane? So for this case, I make that surface in plane. I did it. Okay, <laughs> and the other one, I caught. Okay, my fault. Well, when you look at it, it looks like everyone has the same surface area. Am I right? Uh huh. Right, my fault. Okay. I'll tell you why is it my fault. Because I drew it big so I have space for my drawing. Does that make sense now? Yeah. Okay, my bad. I did it for my convenience. Does this make better sense now? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I did it so I can draw better okay so that's my fault okay so now that's why when i after i drew it like uh everything looked the same okay so that's why i got it okay that is that clear to you right okay so i'm gonna do uh the next example yeah i'm gonna do the next example so i'm gonna do another example example number two Okay, so example number two has conditions. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, give me a bit of minute. Okay, example number two. I'm. I'm looking at a textbook now to pick the example number two. Okay, so example number two. Bear with me. I'm almost there, okay? It's one of the trickier question on most circle. Because the solution menu is it make it very difficult to understand and I don't want you all to, uh, I mean, you can, I know of you can get the solution manual, okay. But I want you all to learn how to do this, okay. By not following the solution manual, okay. So the example is 7.77. I'm going to take a snapshot. Okay, so this is the example that we're going to do. Okay, as you can see, this is a 3D most circle uh, problem. 
so determine the two values of stress y for maximum shearing stress is 75 megapascal. So we are given that the maximum stress is 75. And I want to also uh, let you see okay, if I can find it. Yep, I did. So I want you to see seven point. I want you to look at the solution manual. This is why I'm not keen in posting the solution manual. I know you can get the solution manual online, okay? I found the solution manual online by less than five minutes of searching. Okay. So I'm going to Right, so this is the solution manual, the answer from the solution manual, right? So, yeah, okay, and then the solution manual, okay, this is the same thing for the stress state. So you have 70, 40, stress Y, 75 megapascal, so 70, 40. 75 megapascal so it's the same solution and then all of a sudden they they come down here okay they found one value okay and then part a everything seems good part b uh they reject okay and then they form some equation of a circle and then all of a sudden they say this is okay uh okay this is really really great if you can visualize in your mind what's going on and most of you your math is better than mine i'll tell you one thing this is beyond me okay this is beyond me i i i this is not not, not beyond me this is just like yeah uh, i mean what does this actually mean you are just re relying on a set of formula okay relying on a black box and you're trying to score your answer out okay so in fact, you guys know the solution or, or what I'm going to show you is so simple that you don't need to go through all this and why some of this is rejected, why some of this is okay. Okay, so so I, I'm, I'm not going to deal with this. Okay, I'm going to show you a method that's so easy to do. A lot of engineers in even industry, when they see this, they uh, why bother? Okay, let's employ someone and do it. Okay, employ who? You. <laughs> okay, I'm going to teach you a way that this is so easy to do. Okay, now let, let's deal with it. Right. Hey, I do want this. I want the question. I don't want, do want the answer. And when I do it, you could not believe how easy this could be. Right. So let's look at this now. Okay. So we are going to label standard protocol. This is our surface X. This is our surface Y. And this is our surface Z. Okay. So given that tau max. Okay. Is equal to 75 times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. Okay, this is our tau max. So what is given down here? This is the radius of our circle. Okay. And given that with our that is our radius of circle, right? And we know that. For our case, stress X, sorry, stress Z will be, has to be equal to zero, right? So we know on most circle, one point is fixed. Point Z is fixed, okay? So when that's the case, our stress max will be equal to two times the radius, 
Yes or no? Right? So this will be equal to 150 uh, times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. Right? And then we, it can be also be our stress mean, which is equal to our minus 2R. This is equal to minus 150 times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. So we just drew the operating limits of our circle, right? We know an anchoring point where stress X is equal to zero. Now, let me draw this out. What does this actually mean? Okay, well, let, let me draw on mole circle. What does this actually mean? So we, we're going to construct mole circle now. Okay. So we're going to have uh, normal stress. So I'm going to draw this as my 180 minus 160, 140. Yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 180. Then 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 140, 160, 180, okay? So this is our normal stress. Okay, normal stress. Then we have our shearing stress. Shearing stress, are not, we don't need to draw beyond 75 is because the material field. Right, so this is 30, 40, 60, 80, okay, 100, clockwise, minus 20, minus 40, minus 60, minus 80, minus 100, okay, and the clockwise. Right, so we know given over here we know that at point z right this is our point z okay that's our point z so point z is there is because normal stress is equal to zero sharing stress is also equal to what zero right so the 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 the, the biggest possibility for this okay so i'm going to draw two circles I'm going to draw two lines first, okay? So this two line that I'm going to draw is the upper bound and lower bound. So it's our 75. Uh, I really, really hate this. It don't behave at all, okay? So 75. Okay, so that is my 75 line. And the bottom one is my minus 75 line. Okay. So the circle cannot be bigger than that. I repeat again, the circle cannot be bigger than that. Right? So the maximum normal stress based on uh, this circle, uh, based on the limits of the shear. So this is our 75 line our maximum shear, right? And if there are two circles, right? Maximum diameter of the 75, right? And it has to be touching the Z, and that would be what? 150. Right? Z is your anchor because 2D, Three, sorry, 3D mold circle, it has to touch the what? It has to pass the Z point. Okay, it has to pass because it's a point that is critical for analysis, okay? So what you can see from here, 
this are the limit. So that's why I drew this circle. That's why we did we we did the what we did the two R. Okay. So then we can draw two more lines. Okay, two more vertical lines. So the vertical line here and a vertical line over here. 